hey what's going on YouTube today we are going to take a look at action sheet in ionic 3 so I I'll show you how you could create an action sheet in ionic 3 and I'll show the basics of action sheet how we can design and how we could use that so let's get started this is my project and inside my project I have my home.html file so inside this file I'll create a button to show or to present an action sheet but before that I'd like to create an action sheet before calling it so let's jump to the home.ts file and we'll create a method called show action sheet this method will present the action sheet but before that we need to import action sheet from ionic angular by typing by typing action sheet controller so this is the controller for action sheet from ionic angular this statement or th this import statement will bring the action sheet controller and you can use it inside your app but we need to pass the parameter inside the constructor I'm gonna make it public public action controller which is of type action sheet controller so I'll use this let action sheet equals to this dot action controller dot create this create method will generally create an action sheet for us and this will create and after this we'll call a present method to present or to display the action sheet on our page so inside this you can see here it, the options which is of action sheet options and here you can see the title will be um, you could give anything like my favorite list my favorite list comma and now I'm gonna give buttons buttons are uh, are of uh, an array it's like an array you could give uh, a number of options inside your buttons like for this one I'll show you this will give the text to your button uh, I'll give delete and the role of the button will be destructive destructive comma handler will be of this handler this hand handler will handle some action which is performed on this button so I'm gonna display hey delete it successfully so I'm gonna display this message and after that I'm gonna create an I'm gonna create another button by copying this and pasting the, down here and I'll remove this one and I'll say share uh, you, you 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 can move remove this role it's not a mandatory one and I'll create another button and I'll say cancel and the role of that of this button will be cancel so we'll change this to cancel and also we'll change this message to this one the button to the button name hey cancelled successfully so this is my action sheet as you can see here I have a title and buttons which is of tab type array and I have given I have taken three buttons inside my action sheet and finally I'm going to 
present this action sheet whenever user clicks the button this method will get called and our action sheet will appear on the screen so let's do it uh, we'll do this one uh, but before that we'll say this dot action or you could say action sheet dot present so our action sheet is ready and we'll go to the home.html and we'll create a button for that here button and I'm gonna take an attribute of Aeon button block and let's say the click event should match to your method which is show action sheet and let's paste it here and let's say this show action sheet will be the button so let's save this and let's run this in the uh, let's run this on ionic lab by typing ionic lab enter this will run our ionic app on ionic lab as you have seen in the earlier videos of mine so uh, also I'd like to show you a, more about the action sheet controller you can visit the ionic framework documentation and here right in the component section you have action sheet so here you can see here I, I have taken this one and I have created an action sheet you could see here title buttons when you click this one the action sheet is working on iOS you could also see on let's say no to this one you could see it's an it 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 is a native action sheet controller on Windows you could see here yeah it is working fine on all three platforms so this was all about the action sheet our application is running now and we it might take some time to run so we have to wait for this we forgot to give semicolon here so this is the logic this is the way to create an action sheet in ionic 3 hope you understand and hope you got it how you could create an action sheet and how it is helpful and also you have uh, uh, a bunch of components present here in the documentation uh, on ionic documentation you can see here we have different options and we have different components as well there is a separate sections for icons as well if you want to use icons then you could visit ioniconscom ioniconscom yeah our application is ready finally it is running on ionic lab now we'll see that our action seed is working or not so this is a beautiful documentation you can explore about any component and it is a wonderful documentation you can visit this documentation and you can have some uh, information about any component which you'd like to use in your ionic app so our application is ready if we hit yeah it is it is showing now you could also give icons as you have seen here that on ionic documentation if you click this button the uh, the icons are not showing on iOS but it, it is showing on Android you could see here you could also give uh, icons as well in your action sheet if you click this demo source button then you will find a code uh, for this action sheet you can see here basic.html pages.ts and styles.scss file so you can explore about you can explore more about action sheet on ionic documentation 
uh, it is an Android platform and now I'll show you on iOS yeah, you can see here it is working and it it gives a native functionality it it, it looks like a native action sheet controller so hope you got it and hope you understand about the action sheet controller in Ionic 3 hope you like it please subscribe and share my videos and don't forget to watch my earlier videos on Ionic 3 and also I would like to hear your feedback please drop your feedbacks in the comment section below thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video